It is finally once again review time. Today I'm here to review and discuss the Passenger and Wayfarer duology by Alexander Bracken. Hello everyone, it is Samantha and I hope you guys are having a lovely day. I am here today with a review for you guys. Today I'm going to be reviewing Passenger and Wayfarer by Alexander Bracken. This is a duology that I actually ended up quite enjoying. I read Passenger earlier this month and then I received Wayfarer from the publisher in exchange for a free and honest review, which is I'm here to give to you guys today. So this duology follows the main character of Etta Spencer. Etta is a violent prodigy. She is 17 years old, is rocketing to the top. She's preparing for her big debut, has worked her whole life to becoming a professional professional violinist trying to learn, learn the praise of her kind of cold mother. She doesn't show a lot of emotion, her mother doesn't, and praise, and so she's constantly been working her whole life to win that praise. But she's pretty much been raised since about the age of four or five by her tutor, Alice. So the story kind of picks up the night of one of her performances at the Met, where her mom works in art restoration. And she is supposed to, is supposed to be a fundraiser, and she's one of the people who are going to be playing at this fundraiser. But things kind of take a weird turn for the worse. It starts out when she arrives at this event with her mentor Alice and her mom is there, but soon her mentor leaves and so Etta goes to go and find her mentor before the show begins and she ends up finding her in her mother's office. And she finds her and her mom arguing in what she believes is about herself and about her capability to continue on with a violin career. So she leaves upset and goes to start playing and it doesn't go well. She hears this weird screeching feedback that she thinks is coming from the microphone and she's not able to play how she's ever been able to play before. It's just terrible. She's off key and she ends up running off the stage in a panic. So Edda runs off the stage and she still hears this noise even though nobody is playing but nobody else can hear this noise. So she starts running towards this horrible screeching noise that she can hear. Soon this other girl who is also one of the players follows her. Pretty soon the girl that followed her is dragging her away and they tumble into this shimmery patch of air and they tumble out into 1776 America. America. So Etta soon discovers that she is what is called a traveler. Her mother has kept this a secret from her. Her mother herself was a traveler. Travelers are people who are born to these families that have the ability to travel throughout time. And pretty much all of them are controlled by one particular family, the Ironwoods, who are a family of ruthless travelers who do everything to gain as much money as they can and manipulate time to make the most money. But in addition to this, everybody, particularly our Ironwood himself, the man who runs this family, is looking for a particular astrolabe that was left in Etta's family. This astrolabe Astrolabe has some very interesting properties that you learn about in the second book. So she sets out to try and find this astrolabe. Her mother left her many clues to find where her mother hid it and to destroy it. So Edda sets off on this adventure with Nicholas, who she met on the boat. He was one of the people who was helping the captain the boat and took the ship that she was on. He himself is the grandson of Ironwood, and he has been tasked with protecting her and helping her on the journey and stealing the astrolabe for Ironwood himself. So that's the basic plot line of the story. I actually ended up liking both of these books a lot, a lot more than I was expecting to. Alexandra Bracken's writing is my type of style of writing. It's a little bit whimsical in its telling and it starts out a little bit slow and I tend to like slower paced books. If you have read Robin Hobb, you will know this. So there's definitely quite a bit of build up before you actually start getting to the action bits, which about a little over halfway through the book. So I kind of like the slow build up because when you finally get that payoff, it just feels all the more sweet to me. So I really liked her writing style and the way that she paces the plot. I also really, really love the characters. Both of these books features a diverse range of characters. Nicholas himself is an African American. He was born as the product of a rape of his mother who is a slave and there are LGBTQ characters including Sophia and another character Lee Min who is introduced in Wayfair. So you just have you have a lot of diversity and a diverse diversity perspectives in this book as well. She also discusses a lot about privilege in this book as well as how we don't aren't always aware of how our privilege affects our viewpoint in life. So Edda realizes that she hasn't had to deal with the things that Nicholas has had to deal with. She hasn't had to deal with racism and how people look at her and judge her just because of the color of her skin. She realizes that she's never even thought about it because she hasn't had to think about it. So it deals a lot with privilege or perspective, how people's backgrounds affect them and how it affects how they are perceived by others in the world. So I really really like these books. They feature a lot of diversity which I really enjoyed and the story itself was a lot of fun. I like the time travel aspects. Of course I'm a Doctor Who fan so of course I would like that. So I just really really enjoyed these duology. They're pretty quick reads. They're a lot of fun. They have a lot of action twists and turns that I really really enjoyed. So for both of these books I gave the writing a four and a half out of five stars. I gave the world the setting in which it took place five stars. I gave the characters four and a half out of five stars and I gave the plot four stars for an overall rating of four and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed both of these books. 
I really liked the characters. I was really invested in both of them. The only thing that I really did not much care for was that it felt a little bit like Nicholas and Etta fell in love a little bit too fast, but they were having a lot of things happening to them at once and I think that can also heighten your feelings and really attach you to somebody when you help save each other from death basically. So I found it fairly believable. I also like that Nicholas respected Etta as a woman and respected her strength and how they both kind of helped each other to be a better version of themselves. I just really enjoyed the stories overall. I, I didn't have too many complaints actually, except for that it kind of bogged down a little bit in the middle. But other than that, I found both these books to be pretty enjoyable. All right, guys, that is it for my review of Passenger and Wayfarer, this duology by Alexandra Bracken. I recommend it for anybody who's looking for a quick read, a fun read, books that have diverse characters, just they're just a lot of fun and ones that I did myself enjoyed a lot more than I thought I would. All right guys that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this review. I would love to hear anything that you guys have to say about these books if you have read them. If there's anything you want to throw down in the comments please, please feel free to do so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day until next time. Happy reading. Bye!